A new training simulator at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is helping prepare for war without bullets. Dave DeMarco was at the base today. He joins us now live to tell us how it all works. Well, that system called FATS was installed in January. A couple local politicians got a chance today to go through the same training every airman is now required to put into practice. And I know now it's a requirement before you go down. 88 Security Forces trainer Caleb Lopasser says this is the game he wishes he'd had as a child. But this isn't a game. It's the U.S. Air Force's new firearms training simulator that puts real weapons in fighters' hands, firing lasers with genuine recoil at computer-generated enemies using Bluetooth technology. Today he's showing off the system to Fairborn and Beaver Creek Councilmen. Banana into the front. Just like that. If you turn the weapon over, that's your magazine release right there. We're deploying folks with weapons every day. They need to know when they can shoot and when they can't shoot. Get their heart rate up a little bit and put them in that scenario instead of sitting in front of a PowerPoint. And one of the best things about this system is no matter how many shots I fire, they don't have to pay for the ammo. Lopasser says the half million dollar investment will pay for itself with the $238 they used to spend every time someone used to fire on the range. But there's a lot more they can do in the virtual world. Boom. I click a button on the computer, I jam your weapon. What do you do? You don't raise your hand. Go through it. Sports. Slap, pull, observe, release, tap, squeeze. Get back online and keep shooting again. Uh, so it gives you the real feeling and, uh, and I appreciate the colonel and the base for having us come out and try this and see what it's all about. Um, and I think our citizens should know how hard our soldiers work on this. Uh, my effort was 100%. Uh, my success was uh, <laughs> somewhat lower than that. But it was an incredible experience, though. Now, this simulator is not just for security forces. Every squadron, including medical forces, will start training with those M4s and machine guns soon. Reporting live, I'm Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your side. All right, pretty cool, Dave. Thanks.